All right, so, so the last concept for today would be the clampers. So the purpose of diode clampers are often they're referred as uh, DC restorers. Uh, that's one of their purpose is restoring lost DC value in the signal. So the purpose of clamping action is adding a DC level to an AC signal. We can either add DC, positive DC voltage or negative DC voltage uh, to the AC level, usually referred as positive clamping or negative clamping. So, so remember what happens when you combine AC signal with a DC signal. So remember DC signal is, let's say, we take a positive DC level, let's say a positive DC level of one volt. And let's say we're gonna add an AC signal of, let's say, that's two volts peak. So if we combine these two signals, what would be the resultant signal? Right? So that's the purpose of DC uh, clamping or clampers or DC restorers is they add a DC level to the AC signal. So what would happen to the AC signal when we do this? So what do you think the resultant waveform should look like? What is the maximum voltage you're gonna get now? So what do you think the maximum voltage you're gonna get? The maximum peak would be three volts. So the maximum peak voltage would be three. So what effectively happens is, instead of the sine wave starts right here at the origin, it shifts to the one volts reference level. So the sine wave would in fact start somewhere here and so on. So the maximum limit would be three volts which is like one plus two, and the minimum is one minus two, which would be negative one. So the signal will not change. The AC signal peak to peak remains, the peak to peak remains at four volts, right? So AC signal itself will not change, but signal will be raised up or raised down depending upon whether it's a positive DC voltage or a negative DC voltage. So in this case, this voltage was treated as positive. So the signal would be something like that. This is what happens when you usually placing. So if this is my DC source and if I add an AC source in series, uh, that's effectively uh, what you will see. But using clampers, this performance, this effect can be seen without necessity of using a, a DC power supply. That's the advantage of having clampers is without need of a DC supply, we can actually achieve the stated action, which is raising the signal level by a DC amount. So that's what we are expecting after this clampers. So let's start with the positive clamper. Tell me what do you see different from a clipper? This circuit is very much identical to a clipper except the very first component you see in here is a capacitor instead of a resistor. If this capacitor was a resistor, then this is a clipper. This one is a clamper. So it basically uses, as you can see the signal comparison right here, the blue one is actually a given 
AC source, but you see that red one is actually shifted up, correct? In its reference level, it's not basically starting at zero, like as it's shown here, but the signal was effectively went up. That usually happens when the signal has DC value in it. Either way, it will raise it. The signal will shift either up or down, depending upon usually the orientation of the diode. So the behavior is pretty straightforward too, like in, in the filters we talk about where capacitors charges, correct? And also carefully observe the orientation of capacitors where the positive is being on this side and the negative is being on the other side. So what usually happens is, Capacitor either charges or discharges effectively, correct? Since it is immediate to the source. So what usually happens is, in here, this is pretty much usual explanation, which starts with the negative half cycle of the sine wave, but we can definitely do positive half cycle. The reason why it starts with a negative half cycle is, you can look at uh, these two signals right here. These are the same two signals shown here, uh, but just separated so that you can see the comparison. You don't really see AC signal changes much, right? From one to another. But the only difference is initially, at the beginning, the signal is looks like it's staying at the same level but after the couple of, after the one cycle, that's where the shift happens really. Right? That's why you can, you can always see right here, it appears to be there is only one blue signal, correct? But there is another signal too behind it, the red one too. It's basically on top of each other. Uh, so that's why usual explanation of clampers will happen from the negative half cycle, uh, not the positive half cycle. Because effectively what will happen, when we talk about positive half cycle, what do you think the diode is? Diode will be open, correct? Because diode will be reverse bias, is that right? So when the diode is reverse bias, now the capacitor will start charging, assuming that it doesn't have any charge. So the capacitor will charge us. That's why during that time, the same voltage will be appear across it. There is no clamping action will start. It only starts from the negative half cycle perspective. It doesn't do anything for the positive half cycle because what effectively capacitor is doing is it's holding the DC charge. Remember clamping E means what? Adding AC to DC, but there is no DC source here. So who's acting as a DC source? The charge on the capacitor itself. So the capacitor has to charge initially to give you that raise on the reference level. So that charging process usually happens on the first half of the cycle. That's why uh, if you read through the textbook, it won't even start with positive cycle, uh, but that's the reason for it. The explanation starts with the negative half cycle. But during the positive half cycle, that's what happens. But when you are on the negative half cycle, then the rest of the voltage on the capacitor, so what usually will happen is, well, let me draw this separately so that we can take a look at the circuit perspective in the operation and how really uh, the clamping action will be. 
so so that's the capacitor orientation because initially the capacitor does not hold any charge uh, by default it's the charge on the capacitor would be zero so that's why the explanation you wouldn't even start in the positive cycle so those are the given orientations that indicating the polarized remember capacitors can be polarized as well that means polarity matters when you're connecting it like the one you used in the last lab remember that you have negative and positive terminals so in order to indicate that negative terminal we we curve the one side of the line like that but if you put like this where both sides are being no curve these are non polarized meaning that it doesn't matter how you connect it but these have polarity so it does matter how you, how you connect it yep the curve side is always going to be the negative so so when we talk about the negative half cycle where that that's being negative now the diode becomes what forward bias which is that 0.7 volts right so let's skip from for now you can even see that 0.72 on the signal actually uh, so let me quickly show it to you that 0.7 slight variation uh, but it's not really uh, what you would see see this extremely small amount of voltage go below the negative right that's your negative 0.7 right it's because uh, during during that time you would see the orientation of the diode that's negative on the top correct that's why that slightly negative 0.7 will be there on the bottom because that's positive this is that is correct it's always whenever we are seeing forward bias or reverse bias it definitely matters how the diode is oriented right so that's a forward bias connection so when it is forward bias we know the diode has 0.7 in this case it would be like negative 0.7 correct because of the orientation but what also will happen is now the diode allows the current correct so when the current comes in when the diode forward biases which path it is going to take through the diode because that's the least resistance path right that's a short circuit so because when diode is forward biases it will allow the current right with almost no opposition so this current will helps the capacitor to charge to whatever the voltage left after you subtract 0.7 because part of that voltage will be taken away by the diode so the rest which is usually the you can say that 4.3 volts right so same as before 4.3 volts will be there usually capacitor charges very quickly uh, because the opposition the diode acts as a short circuit with extremely small resistance so uh, the time constant would be very small right so r time c uh, so capacitor will charge us very quickly all the way to 4.3 volts from now onwards the clamping action would start because now the capacitor is having that 4.3 and it's going to keep having that 4.3 until it will discharges correct so the discharge will happen when we talk about that negative cycle so now when we talk about negative cycle so now the capacitor is already holding that 4.3 volts 
and let's say now we are talking about negative half cycle. That is correct. So why is the capacitor holding a negative? Again, you are overcoming that point 0.7. That's point 0.7 is still the orientation. The positive is right here, correct? And this is also a, so that overcoming would be still positive point 0.7. You're still overcoming that barrier. So the polarities would be the, still the same. See, you are collecting negative point 0.7 if you put a meter from here to here. But signal perception is signal is still coming from the, do you see what I'm saying? It's your meter connection, that negative point 0.7 we are saying is when we connect the meter like this. So when we connect the meter like this, then it sees negative point 0.7. But if you flip the meter around, then you would say positive point 0.7, right? So it's according to how we connect the meter. But this is how we connect the meter in a conventional version. What if you connect it positive side of the meter to the negative side of that capacitor? You would read the source voltage if that is the case. So if you say, I'm going to move this positive where? Right here. Then effectively, you are reading from here to here, correct? correct. What do you have in between? The source itself. So effectively going to read source. Again, what are you doing? If you use DMM, DMM only reads RMS. So you will read RMS voltage of whatever that AC signal is. If you have an oscilloscope, you read your sine wave with five volts peak. See what? Yes. That's an indication that I'm talking about positive cycle or negative cycle only. Because the charging happens on the capacitor at negative cycle. That's only an indication to the negative cycle. So I started with negative because so now the diode will be forward bias, correct? Under this condition. Not the capacitor. Yes. So your, your question is why this is positive, this is negative? Because I was talking about negative cycle. If I talk about positive cycle of the signal, then I would put other way around. So I'm just talking about the negative cycle of the input signal. Nothing. It's, it's nothing to do with the capacitor. So, so during the negative cycle, the diode forward biases, the capacitor will charge. So we good. So now during the positive cycle, right? What happened to the diode? Reverse biased. So this is what will happen. When the diode is reverse bias, the capacitor is already having 4.3 volts, correct? That is going to be discharged to the load along with the source is already at positive five volts. So those two currents, one is the DC current that is already coming from the capacitor and the AC current that is already coming from the source, both are being added. That's what happens, that's what raises the signal level. So that five volts will be added to the 4.3 volts, so the highest point of the signal would be at 9.3 volts and the lowest point would be at that negative 0.7 that we got earlier. The diode is open, does the circuit is open? The only, this branch is open, correct? 
but if you take away that branch the circuit is still is still it is a closed circuit correct yeah because only that branch is open that's all so that's how the dc voltage it is pretty much capacitor charges during the negative cycle and the discharges along with the ac signal since these two are placed in series since uh, capacitor and the source were placed in series so that's pretty much a additive of those two signals so the highest point would be so that's why this was is a positive side so that's a positive 4.3 volts coming from again that's the dc voltage uh, coming from the cap added to that 5 volts already coming from the source yes so if we just leave it at that with no diode and it goes in reverse does it charge it to 5 okay what do you mean by with no diode like if you're charging with just that without a diode what does the capacitor do that if there is no diode at all, yeah. if there is no diode at all, then this would be an RC circuit. Then there would be some phase shifts within the voltages. So it's not going to be any clamper anymore. If you want to analyze this circuit, probably you guys would remember, you need to know uh, X of C, you need to know the impedance of the circuit, reactants, uh, but usually, it's the phase shifts will occur uh, if you know, you need to know what frequency this is operating as well. Uh, then you could analyze it, but what really happens depends on especially the, the frequency of the signal. But if you collect across the resistor, so usually, do you remember anything about X of C? what it is Answer. just x of c oh, so this is usually called as a reactance associated with the capacitor for ac signal so this value is usually goes down when the frequency goes up so it's, it's really depending upon the whole analysis to exactly know what voltage will be happening on the resistor. Uh, but there is going to be some phase shifts will be happening within the circuit uh, on some impedance values. So, like if you don't have any diode in there, it's definitely not going to be a clamper. So, so that's effectively the voltage that you will see. So the highest voltage will see 9.3. After that, you will see like a 0.7 like that. So that would be like 9.3 volts. And that's, that's only showing us that the capacitor is charging. Yeah, it, it won't happen until it has some charge. Since we don't have any external DC power, right? No. You're not going to have any questions asked on draw the waveforms on the clampers. But it's only. Uh, because usually this is a circuit for clampers, you're not going to have any additional uh, modifications to a clamping circuit. So, if you if you change your AC source, then the capacitor charge value will be changing. Instead of 4.3, it could be something else, depending upon what really your uh, source voltage is. So it's like one cycle it charges other cycle it will discharge us along with the source voltage since the source is ac the discharge is dc you are placing them in series and the total current would be an additive version of it pretty much and if you flip the other diode what do you think will happen which would be a instead of positive clamping if you flip the diode around then the charging and discharging process 
effectively does in an opposite direction. So that would usually be a, a negative clamper. So, so something like this. So you can see that now you have that positive 0.7 right here, correct? Now, when you talk about positive cycle, what happens to the diode? The diode will become what? The diode will become forward biased because this is the orientation of a diode, positive to the positive, right? Now, it will allow the capacitor to charge because you have a close uh, least resistance path. So when the current is coming in this direction, then as long as the diode is forward bias, that's how the flow of current. So that's why once the diode is forward bias, it has a 0.7. That's why you see that little positive 0.7 div right here. As the signal goes above the zero axis, that's what that positive 0.7 is. Again, the same thing, capacitor will charge to how much? 4.3 since the source is still 5 volts. If you want something else to be charged, then you adjust your source voltage. Like, okay, I don't want capacitor to charge all the way to 4.3 volts. Let's say the DC level I only want is like 2 volts. Then you throw in like 2.7 volts. You take away 0.7, so you would get that 2 volts. So on the negative cycle, diode will be open, capacitor will discharge us whatever it is holding along with the AC signal, which is a negative cycle. So that being said, the whole signal will be lowered in the reference level. There is a possibility you could do like that too. Yes, if you throw in a resistor before the capacitor, you will drop whatever that excess voltage you don't want. Yeah, that is true. So that's pretty much positive clamper and negative clamper is.